Hello friends, welcome back again to SQL with Manoj. In my previous video, we saw how to add and remove columns from a table. And in this video, we'll again talk about columns and we'll see how can we change the data type of a column, right? So uh, let's go to SSMS, right? And I'll be taking example of the same employee table having the following columns. The columns are uh, employee ID, employee name, gender, date of birth, date of joining, department ID and manager ID. Okay, so first of all, let's try to, you know, just see what's in the table. So I'll execute a select statement, S-E-L-E-C-T, select star from DB, DBO. Okay, rather than typing a table, what I can do is uh, I can drag and drop this name. So this is a tip for you guys, right? So this will save you some time, right? So just select it and execute or you can press F5, right? to see the contents of this table okay so right now this table has these three rows or records okay having these one two three four five six seven columns the last column that we added was manager ID in our previous video now now let's say I got a requirement to have this manager ID column have some meaningful name uh, MGR does not give me any logic or any value so they asked me to change the name from MGR to proper manager ID okay so how can you do that so there is a system stored procedure that is SP underscore rename that does you so it takes three parameters first parameter is the column name but with the column name you have to specify which table and which schema right so here DBO dot employee dot MGR ID the old name the new name that you have to give manager ID okay the new name and what is the type of this right it is a column so I'm providing the third parameter as column here okay so just select it and click execute okay so this is done let's see the changes here okay you can refresh the column list and see MGR ID is changed to manager ID right now let's just select it select the star from table okay at the end you can see manager ID right this column has been changed to manager ID right okay now let's say the manager ID data type is integer okay first of all you know what are data types so SQL Server provides us a lot of data types to store the data in a very specific manner so that you know the whenever we are storing them they are accurate and you can do logical operations on it as per their type right so for integer there is specific data type int big int small and tiny int so and then a float real many many of that and for strings and for characters there are other data types like where care care and care for date it is date time date time two okay so the manager so currently the manager ID data type is integer that is int if I have to you know change it to big end let's say there is some uh, you know the big end size is greater than integer size the integer size is four bytes big end size is eight bytes so it's it, it stores more number of values if you compare with integers right so let's say I want to store manager ID in form of big int so how can I do that for altering the columns you have to provide the alter table statement with that alter table statement you have to provide alter column statement okay and that goes with the column that you have to change okay manager ID and what data type you have to choose right big int right so you can just select it and execute it right so and if you see columns refresh it you will get big ints right previously it was int now it has changed to big int okay but if you see the execution of it uh, we you won't be able to see any difference you know uh, it is null right now even if there were values you won't be able to see any difference because it does not change the value changing the data type does not change the value if they're of same type okay if they are of same type it just extends the column so that it can contain uh, more values like from int to big int it will accommodate more values over here and larger values but let's say if I want to change this big int to some uh, some integer or something or, or you know maybe date time it might give me some error and won't allow me to do that okay here's a tip for you I'll show you one system view from which you can get the column information like like which column has has which data type one was you know we just selected this and we did alt f1 I'll again do that okay this way you will be able to see like uh, this column name is manager ID the type is begin okay and the length is 8 bytes okay and it is null right and you can similarly you can see for other columns okay and um, 
there is one more view uh, that you can use that is uh, select star from information schema dot columns where where table name is equal to employ okay so on executing this statement you will get these records so it's so the first column says the table catalog means the database is demo the table schema is dbo the table name is employee it has seven columns starting from this is the position of these columns employee id name gender date of birth date of joining department id and manager id okay nullable property data type it gives you the data type right previously it was int and now it has changed to begin okay so this view will give you lot of metadata information that is stored in sql server engine and uh, similar to this there are some other information schema dot uh, xyz views from which you can get uh, information for other objects right so for now that's it uh, please like the video if you really like it and please let me know your comments and please let me know your suggestions if you want me to cover something and uh, at the end i would say please subscribe my video by subscribing my video you will get to know in future whenever i uh, launch any video you'll be uh, able to know it automatically okay thanks a lot have a nice day